So these Jews, they saw my adverts, they contacted my organizers, they said, look man, this Mr. Didat, if you would be prepared to come and speak to us. So my organizers asked me, the Jews want you to go and speak to them. I said, right, to me it's an opportunity. Wallah, it is an opportunity. We must look for opportunities. We must create opportunities. Somehow get, deliver the message, man. Deliver the message. No man who the person is. I have delivered lectures in synagogues. I have delivered lectures in churches. I have delivered lectures in Hindu temples. Wallah. Look, our Nabi Karim said, somewhere around the Kaaba. All those idols were there and he used to preach to them. Why shouldn't we? Opportunity. The guy calls you to a church. Go and talk, man. Temple, synagogue, go and talk. Deliver the message. The best you can. So the Jews went to me. Yes, all right. Students of the University of Cape Town, they had purchased a church hall and they were going to invite me. That's how I went on. Let us disabuse their minds. Talk, reason. So I said, you know, that was after the 67 war. I said, you know, you defeated my brothers once. You defeated them twice. First, 48. Then 56. Then 67. 70, 73 hadn't happened then. So you defeated my brothers thrice. And you can defeat them 30 times. But you won't have solved the problem. The problem still remains. I said, the Arabs can afford to lose 100 battles. They can afford to lose 100 battles. But you can't afford to lose one. You know that? If one you lose, I said, it's finished for you. It's good. You're finished for good. Yes, you'll be wiped out. Once he loses one, he's finished for good. There's no more Jews left if you lose. And you can't tell me in your history that you never lost a battle. That you'll never lose. You are beating my brothers because of technology. Superior technology. Superior education. The Jews, they admit that the average Arab soldier is a better specimen of mankind, manhood, than the average Jew. He's a better man, man, from manliness point of view. But he's getting beaten. Why? Because he's a standard six Johnny, the Arab soldier. That guy is a matriculant. See, every soldier. So now that guy can carry out instructions far better than you. So it's the technology, the machines that he's wielding. That's beating him. And then again, so we are not fighting the Jews. Every time we go into battle, we're fighting America. No, it's America. It's not the Jew. 1973, for the first time, the Arabs took the initiative. First time in history. Previously, every time they were talking, we'll kill the Jew, we'll fight him, and preemptive strike. You talk, 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 he'll give it to you. You talk, 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 he'll give it to you. There's a saying, twice armed is he whose cause is just, but thrice armed is he who gets in first. He's triply armed. Like. You talk, you are in the right, you are in haq, but I give it to you, one, you're flying, it's finished. You finish. You hug, you're in hug, but hug. Finish. You're gone. Knocked out. This is what's happening. So, for the first time, the Arabs took the initiative. 73. The Ramadan war. The October war. Hmm? America won the Jews. I don't know whether you people know. America won the Jews that the Arabs are on the move. They can see, man, through the satellites what's going on there. The movements, movements of dark patches. This is some metal moving. Armored cars, tanks, moving, moving, getting closer towards the Suez. They want the Jews, this is the Arabs are on the move. They took it lightly. The Jews said, no, these Arabs, man, they can't, they can't fight. They can't fight without shouting. They'll have to say, we'll hit you and, we'll, and then we'll give it to them. But first time, Sada, he played a stroke of genius. And silently, he did the job. He crossed the bar lev line and into the Sinai. He had the Jews by the throat. First time. In America, direct intervention through the Azores, men and material, right into the battlefield, turn the tables. So what do you do? This is the situation. Every time you go to war, you're fighting America. And this giant, I'm watching it. I'm seeing his, his airports. You know, all these airports, I'm traveling from place to place. I say, man, this nation, how can you conquer this nation? How can you beat this Jalut, this Goliath? How can you crack his skull? How, how, how? No, 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 don't despair. His size is his undoing. His might is, is his undoing. But now you have to use psychology. You have to learn now techniques, how to get under his skin, how to talk to him. You have to learn, my dear brothers and sisters, you have to learn how to talk. A frontal fight, no hope. 
no <laughs> to ask, you can outgun the fellow and you can uh, out and grenade the fellow you can do anything but intellectually you can do the job allah tells us in the holy quran that is given your deen so who allah the arsala rasulahu bil huda he is hence has sent his messenger with guidance wa din al haq and with the religion of truth li yuza hira huwa al din kulli that it may prevail over come and supersede every other din walau kariha al mushrikun no man have the mushrik might not like it and he repeats the same formula again and he ends by saying wa kafa billahi shahida and in his allah is a witness to this fact that is going to make his deen to prevail with you or without you rubbish you don't do the job he says yastabdil qauman ghayrakum he substitute in your place another people thumma la yakun wa masalakum then they won't be like you rubbish you can do the job but not telling them this is the problem you beat my brothers once you beat them twice beat them thrice beat them 30 times 300 times but you haven't solved the problem it's technology which is in your favor but technology is not a closed shop sooner or later the arabs will also acquire technology then as it sooner or later this america will let you down it can happen america can let you down when it suits them they let you down <laughs> they let so many nations down and it doesn't suit them it suited them to help the kuwaitis they helped them right suited them oil well, if kuwait was producing sausages you think these guys would have gone there huh no no if it suits i said one day these guys will let you down and then what is your position i said why don't you come to terms with them now i said